the king has requested that profits from a £1 billion a year Crown Estate wind farm deal should be used for the wider public good, rather than as a financial boost for the monarchy. Under the sovereign grant, funded by the taxpayer which is currently £86. Three million a year, the monarch receives 25%. He also receives an extra 10% for the refurbishment of Buckingham Palace. Six new offshore wind energy lease agreements have generated a significant amount of money for the estate which would usually lead to an increase in the monarchy's funding. However the king, who discussed the cost of living crisis in his Christmas speech, has requested that the additional fund be directed for wider public good instead of being sent to the sovereign grant when so many are facing hardship. It is not clear what the exact amount of taxpayer funding the king has passed on but it could be many millions. King Charles on a visit to Sandringham, image, Getty, Morale in Northampton depicting Queen Elizabeth and King Charles, image, Getty images. The Crown Estate is an ancient portfolio of land and property which belongs to the reigning monarch, in right of the crown, but is not their private property. The monarch gives the revenue from the estate, around £312 million a year, to the treasury every year to help with the nation's finances in exchange for the sovereign grant. Sir Michael Stevens, the King's Keeper of the Privy Purse who manages the royal finances, has contacted Prime Minister and Chancellor Jeremy Hunt to ask for a, an appropriate reduction in the percentage of Crown Estate profits used for the sovereign grant. A Buckingham Palace spokesperson confirmed that No. 10 and No. 11 Downing Street had been contacted on behalf of the King. Don't miss, King Charles grasp on Commonwealth in peril as country threatens exit King Charles attending church in Norfolk earlier this month, image, Getty Images, King Charles at Sandringham on Christmas Day, image, Getty Images. They said, in view of the offshore energy windfall, the keeper of the privy purse has written to the Prime Minister and the Chancellor to share the King's wish that this windfall be directed for wider public good, rather than to the sovereign grant, through an appropriate reduction in the proportion of Crown Estate surplus that funds the sovereign grant. However the sovereign grant is based on funds that are two years in arrears so the new arrangements would not impact the grant until 2024-25. Last month the King used his first Christmas broadcast to empathize with families struggling with the cost of living crisis as well as praising those who were helping those in need including individuals, charities and faith groups. The monarch spoke about the great anxiety and hardship experienced by people attempting to pay their bills and keep their families fed and warm. Don't miss, Prince Harry warned against jeopardizing his mother's legacy, revealed. Meghan blasted for her uncharacteristic no-show since spare release, Insight. William publicly responds to Harry claims for first time, Spotlight, trending his televised message also included footage of a food bank and scenes of meals being given to the homeless. The sovereign grant covers the running costs associated with the royal household including events such as official receptions, investitures and garden parties. The percentage received by the monarch increased from 15% to 25% in 2017 to cover the 10-year program of £369 million repairs at Buckingham Palace.